Okay, uh, band class. So I'm here on a website called Hook Theory. And uh, what I would um, like to share with you, let me just get a little more of that in there. So what I would like to share with you is that you can look up chord progressions. So I went to Hook Theory Resources, uh, Popular Chord Progressions, and uh, so here we are. So right here, um, it shows one, five, six, four. So in the key of C, that is C, G, A minor, F. And I can change the key here to G, so that now it's G, D, E minor, C. And that'll reflect any key that I wanted to, wanted to do. So here in A, the one chord is A, the five chord is E, the six chord is F sharp minor, and the four chord is D. And I also found uh, a couple of resources um, I just looked this up really quick. It, I just typed in um, chord scales. And um, so this popped out. So it shows you that in the key of A, A is minor, B, or sorry, A is major, B is minor, C sharp is minor, D is major, E is major, F sharp is minor, and the seventh chord here is diminished. Um, so those of you who have taken the course before and want to go a step further, um, you can actually, um, move on to these minor scales. So we can look up, uh, the minor key signature. A is the minor key that has no sharps or flats. And you can look up the keys online. You can find it all. And so the, the order of the chords is um, uh, minor, diminished, major, minor, minor, major, major. And there's some variations on that that you can play with. And I'm sure if you, if you choose to write your song in minor, it would be really cool. Um, a lot of uh, EDM tends to float around minor tonality, especially uh, stuff by uh, like The Weeknd and things like that, tends to float more around the minor key, that sort of darker sound. But uh, so, yeah, here it's got all the degrees and the types of chords and, and all that. So, uh, whoops. So back to this hook theory. Um, so you can take this one, five, six, four, and put those um, chords into Audio Tool and use that to base your music around. Um, so you can pick anything here that's in the popular progressions. Uh, so here's one that goes six, five, four, five. So in the key of C, that's A minor, G, F, G. So A minor, G, F, G. Let's, uh, let's get that down nice and big here. Um, so A minor, G, F, G. Let's try it again. A minor, G, F, G. Ah, it's at the top here for some strange reason. Um, so, A minor, A, we skip a B and go to C, and then we skip D and go to E. So A, C, E is going to be my first chord. And then G, I skip A and go to B, um, skip C and go to D. So G, B, D is going to be my second chord. And then F, I skip G, and then I skip B. So my F chord is going to be F, A, C. So I'm going to put these in for one bar, one bar, one bar, one bar, just 
basic standard chord progression. So I go here to Audio Tool and I pulled up a synthesizer. Um, so my first chord, um, I'm going to change this to a bar. My first chord is going to go um, A, C, E. And then uh, G. That was that flat, yeah. And then F. F, A, C, and then back to G, B, okay. Um, so this is a popular progression. Um, let's have a listen. So that actually sounds kind of nice. Um, I happen to know that that particular progression is also the um, the last bit of Stare to Heaven where uh, the guitar solo comes in uh, and a few other things. Um, I believe the uh, there's a few other songs that are based on that that I could list right now. So anyhow, what I would do after this was I would go through using one of those methods for um, creating melodies over this progression and uh, after that I would uh, add some some bass line and some drums so if you have a different key a different progression you you write out the notes and and pop them in now there are other things that you can do like instead of just lasting for a bar you could have the chord last for two bars and then have this chord last for a bar and then have these chords last for a half note. Um, there's all kinds of creative things that you can do and I suggest you um, explore all that. So um, I'm gonna put a few things together and um, for, your, for your culminating, um, but this is the foundation of what you need to know um, to, to create electronic music. You need to know uh, keys and scales and how they work and you need to know how to create chord progressions. Like I said, you don't have to memorize it, you don't have to perfect it, but you have to be able to at least um, find a resource to tell you what the notes in the chord are and then be able to put them into um, a piece of software. That's the, that's the starting point anyways. And hopefully at the end of this course, you'll all be there and, and keep moving towards, uh, creating better and better, um, electronic music because you enjoy it. So in closing, uh, I am available, um, at any time for, uh, some MS teams, um, one-on-one -on -one sessions if there's something that you want to go over, if there's something that you want to ask. Um, I'm going to put a few more requirements and I'm going to put together uh, a little checklist uh, and, and step steps for you to, uh, to check your progress through this assignment. And I'm going to talk uh, tomorrow about, you know, how to take four bars of electronic music and turn it into uh, 30. So... Uh, we'll see you tomorrow, Electronic Music. I uh, hope you're doing great.